If you could replace all the grass in the world with something else, what would it be? Oh man, I don't I don't even tacos. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Damn, that would be magical. Could you imagine? <coughs> a second. Oh man, that hurt my spleen somehow. Roll, rolling down like hills of fucking beef. <laughs> Could you imagine playing the Super Bowl on tacos? <laughs> dude, guys would be dude. Look, okay, a lot more Hispanics would be playing football, going out for uh, head first dives for laying out for passes. Right. I think football would just change fundamentally. It would, <laughs> it would just turn into soccer. <laughs> Assuming uh, that's a good point. <laughs> Assuming if you if if you are in fact picking tacos, I I don't, uh, I, don't no. wanna, I don't want to drop I, the seed. I think I would like to go with something like that seems innocuous, but it would be kind of nice. But it presents problems I've I've already fi- thought of in my head. But like I would like to make it like. Like soft bedding, you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, like I used to see. All right, so MTV Cribs. I can't remember whose crib it was. I think I, w- I want to say it was Mariah Carey's because why the fuck not? Um, but I'm fairly certain she had a room, and it was a, it was like a, it was like almost like like an attic type room, but the floor was fucking mattress. It was like memory foam mattress, and that's where she like went in and fucking you know, I don't know, probably did fucking heroin and Mariah Carey, uh, but. I want one of those. If, if like if there were just mattresses all over everywhere, every patch of grass was a fucking mattress. I think that would be that would be quite fun. Uh, I don't I don't like laying in grass. I don't go to parks and lay in grass, but I'd go to a park and lay on a fucking mattress. Uh, so yeah, mattresses. That's a good point because then you might actually help curb the homeless population inside cities. I mean, they they don't. I mean, if they could just go lay out in open field somewhere. That might be better for everybody. I mean, look at these people. They, they, they literally lay on concrete sidewalks and hard park benches. You'd be like, look, just, just mosey out to the middle of nowhere, man. Head on out to Kansas. Let them deal with it. Like you. at park close or like, you know, any, any large field at closing time, the homeless are allowed to come in. There are homeless hours, you know, d- dust till dawn. Uh, <laughs> and they can just come in and set up shop if they have tents, which many of them, uh, many of them are outfitted by REI. I have found mm-hmm. out, uh, so they could just pop up, uh, pop up tents, hang out, dude. I surprisingly many homeless have full fucking tents. I don't know where they get them, but they have them, or how they so, pitch them. <laughs> if they if they have a nice soft spot to lay, good to go. There's there's a certain amount of like first of all biological and logistic issues that that come along with replacing grass. With, I, I already yeah they were already floating around in my head like how do you yeah clean them? well we mean to, to, to do the trees that that sur- that are surrounded by this grass do they still uh, have root systems that are embedded in, and get fed uh, do this do these mattresses uh, magically clean themselves are they water and stain resistant or do they just permeate this fucking stink after a rain and, and piss and fucking well i would like to think that whatever you're you're replacing it with i i'd like to think that they're they're biological in in some respect so you know maybe you you know you could still mow the mattress the the memory you could still mow the memory <laughs> foam okay. and it would eventually kind of grow back um but yeah let, let's make it bio organic in some even if it's a uh you know like a manufactured chemical based thing I, I let's just say the earth produces this at, gotcha. at random okay fair enough so you still have trees bushes yeah. like it would, like yeah. if you were just to grow <laughs> like like parks just maintained like lush three foot deep fucking chia pets like every park was just a fucking chia pet and that's what it was and it was easily replaceable you just sprinkle some seed on it and some water and lay it on a fucking clay pot and you're fucking good to go right so and then at that point you can maintain it. You can you can cut it, you can cut it down. You can get rid of that top layer uh, of grime of homeless grime. Uh, you know, after a rain, you can get rid of that that soggy layer. Uh, yeah, that's fucking. That's not a bad idea. I like it. I like yeah. where we've gone with this. Yeah, laying it like sod would be that much easier. It just comes in automatic rolls. You could like vacuum seal it down and then just cut it roll it out look at that you just replaced the patch 
uh, you know, it's so funny though, is I was about to say that exact same thing until I was like, huh, so I've just kind of circled this back around the grass, huh? <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, you know, we should just put some grass there it's, instead it's, of mattresses. Mattresses seem silly. We should just put grass. <laughs> Does it, is it a cop out for me to say, because I'm a golfer, is it a, is it a cop out for me to mm. say AstroTurf? Or some sort of synthetic, something like what they use at uh, football stadiums. I don't think so, because I was actually kind of pondering that myself. Because my idea, I realized as soon as Alan started to speak, that my idea is very stupid. Right. I'm going to use it anyway. <clears throat> but I feel like yours. I mean, because yours. I'm trying to maintain see, my I, I feel, a major hobby of mine, which is golfing. Now, if all of a sudden it's like you can't do that, I don't find another hobby. And if you ask me, I got to replace it with something else. Other than a grass or a synthetic grass, I'm going to go trampolines. Wow. Everywhere. Can you imagine how much you would cut down on transportation costs if we could just all tr- tramp to work? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's exactly where I was going with this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel like you have a lot of, uh, a lot of like, legitimately dangerous injuries like a lot of snapped legs yeah. ankles uh you're bound to have a clumsy like a, a, a clumsy person like break a neck uh yeah but aren't all of those trampoline injuries basically because a uh, trampoline has to be like a standard four feet off the ground and they're only like 10 feet wide and so one way we're jump and yeah you're right you're a paraplegic because you just fell you get a good jump to the ground, you probably fell 14 feet to, you know, this dastardly grass that Mother Nature keeps fucking sprouting up on us. So if the trampoline was the ground, you'd only be falling as far as you hop rather than going up and then coming down the extra four feet that a trampoline provides. That's fair. But I mean, I My first answer is still the, still the synthetic grass, like something that uh, <clears throat> college soccer teams, football teams, things of that nature play on. The indoor, for, yeah, the because, new, the new, the new you can still do. Do they do um like at uh it, it golf courses where there's like driving rains and things and they have the uh, synthetic grass? Don't do they have like um like rough style grass to like you know practice like pitching out of and stuff? Yeah, it's it's not uh, <clears throat> it's yeah, not the yeah, same. I'm it's not uh, not nearly the same as what you'd think about uh, from a rough, but. You could you can you could create that, but it's a lot of those time a lot of, a lot of those places they're not they don't fuck around with that. Yeah, but I feel like we're, I feel like okay, it, it'd be shitty. It'd be for guys who like drinking uh, Milwaukee's best and maybe some uh, Bud Light for high dollar. But if we made an all astroturf golf course, think about the maintenance fees that we'd be cutting down on. Because aren't like ninety percent of all golf courses like all their fees for upkeep is because they got to pay a guy to like mow the whole fucking like hundred and eighty acres like every two days? Yeah, but but if you're if you're replacing all that with a synthetic turf, then you have to have a drainage system that is out of this fucking world, which is yeah. like ten times the cost of, of natural grass, which absorbs some of it, most of it. The greens have have funnels and things of that nature. <clears throat> Still yeah. think it's doable, and I still think this is a business. <laughs> no, well, the, uh, <laughs> there's a par three course out in Severna Park that is like eighty percent astroturf. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, all of the tee boxes are. I mean, the fairways, I guess, quote unquote. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it's so uh, it's been done on, on a par three course, of course. So, of course, gotta, of course, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. You gotta expand <laughs> that out though. Okay, I, I, well, I, I, I now quick, realize how. Um, do do you remember the uh, at the bar at one fifty four East College that had the the uh, the platform that was covered in astroturf? turf? Yes. Oh, great! <laughs> I built that. Me and a buddy of mine. <laughs> the bar the bar was too high. You had to like you had to do this to get up to it. It's like we just build a platform. Like what are we going to put on it? You just do the plywood? No. Let's let's cover it in astroturf. turf. Like the Brady. I, I guarantee you, somebody that uh, like it was your idea. You were like, no, no, fucking ass. No, it's got to be classy. There's gonna be chicks down here. We're gonna put asterisk. <laughs> it. it was actually the <laughs> cheapest thing per square foot that we could find at Home Depot. <laughs> so, well done. Yeah. Well, I'm now realizing how stupid my answer is. But see, I was gonna go with something. Um, man, I was gonna go with cotton candy. I figured it'd be pretty awesome. It's a nice, um, you know, it's got that nice like fluffy texture to it. 
Uh, is there anything better? And this for people who live down south who don't get any snow. Is there anything better than fresh fallen snow where you grab just a scoop off the ground and you just start eating it? I mean, it's before it's dirty, you know, before the before before the uh, the filth that man has created has uh you know uh, infiltrated the freshly fallen snow before somebody's pissed in it before a dog has taken a shit in it <laughs> before like leaves have fallen in it just like. I always just – this is kind of like mental amazement of being able to just reach down and grab something and put it in your mouth, and it's okay. So I was just thinking, like, what if there was just cotton candy everywhere, a sweet, delicious, fluffy treat that's pleasurable to walk on? And then I realized the first rain, we are in for a world of sugar slurry disaster that's just a sticky mess for forever. So, yeah, my idea kind of goes out the window there. Uh, grass is a pretty, um, pretty amazing substance. But Alan, you did bring up something. I've always wanted one—a chia pet. Those things are fucking expensive, though. I w- I wanted to get the um, I did want to get the Obama chia pet, and and pardon my uh, casual racism here, but just because I thought the hair was like perfect, it was a perfect chia pet. That's fair. It was a perfect chia pet. Yeah, it just, that makes sense. <laughs> but if chia is so great that you just add water, why can't we just replace the world with that shit instead of having fucking random crab grass and weeds and everything anywhere? Uh, because now uh, hippie fucking vegans eat it primarily uh, to survive. So now it's way more expensive. They priced us out of it. Now, now we can't just use it for whatever we want. Wait, you can eat chia? Yeah. Like chia seeds? No sh- yeah. It's the same shit. Like, I'm sure you, you, I mean, you may have or may not have seen people be like, yeah, cheese, cheese, that shit's good for you. I thought, no, I, I thought I, kale I, was fiber. the last, last, uh, last hurrah. You what? I thought kale was the last hurrah. No, oh cheer. man, we have made it into obscure grains from South America, uh, you know, uh, different colored salts, um, you know, just pretty much foods of indigenous people that we can pay, sh- you know, pennies to for fucking 100 pound sex and then we then sell it to middle-aged white women for you know ten dollars a gram and then <laughs> you're you're fucking good to go so just think of all of this uh, what was that what was the fucking quino I, I know how to say it and i always fucking forget it uh quinoa quinoa uh, i think it's actually quinoa but anyway uh yeah that shit chia Fucking all that shit, man. Kino, it's all Kino at bars. God. Yeah, uh, Kino, <laughs> not free. Uh, <laughs> not- By the way, I think you can get all that stuff at wholesale price at uh, the food store in Georgetown, Delaware. 